Good evening and welcome from New York. Well, of course, to be Irish in this city is always something special. But to be a special dancer here, well, that makes you lord of the dance. Michael Flatley's Lord of the Dance was first performed in Dublin's Point Theatre in June 1996. Since then, it's been touring the UK, Australia and New Zealand, grossing more than $100 million. This week, however, it faced its toughest test, the cynical and hard-bitten theatre-goers of New York. Sure, they knew the ticket sales in Australia had been faster than those for Michael Jackson or the Rolling Stones, but hey, so what? This was the Big Apple. And the venue chosen couldn't have been tougher, the 6,000-seater Radio City Music Hall. If you crack it here, you crack the States. 60 minutes before curtain up and the $77 a ticket audience begins to arrive. Some are Irish Americans, but outnumbered by Italians, Mexicans, Poles, and the other nationalities that make this city a melting pot. Some have made the trip from Ireland. Came from, from Greystones in, in Ireland all the way to see uh, the show tonight. Lord of the Dance. <laughs> Remember the name. Had, Mona, you had a problem with your tickets here tonight? We had, yes. There was a mix-up. They were left in the wrong name, but we've got them sorted out now. And it would have been disaster for you. Why? Well, because my daughter is in the show, and uh, we would have been very disappointed. But we have our tickets now, so we're looking forward to it. How many times have you seen it? This would be our 16th. And you never get tired of it? Never. No, it's a brilliant show and we're very proud of it. Really good. Less than 40 minutes to showtime and behind the curtains, Michael Flatley continues a preparation and warm-up session that began an hour and a half ago. Michael, waited a long time. Here it is, Radio City. All right, Colin, thanks for coming along. It's going to be fun tonight. Big night tonight. Lord of the Dance, we're in town. Look out. Outside the building, the celebrities face the cameras as they arrive for the premiere. How are you? Very well. How are you? Are you looking forward to the show? Yes, I am very much. Have you seen it before? No, I haven't. I've just seen clips of it, you know, the publicity. It's a good show. I think you'll enjoy it. I hope so. In their hotel, a few blocks away, Ma and Da flatly receive a crystal decanter from John Fitzpatrick to mark their visit. He always was exceptional at what he did, and he gave us a lot of comfort, a lot of pleasure. He was always very nice to us. Where did he get the talent from? Which of you? We think it's our Elizabeth granny. Was... My mom was very talented in dancing. She you, was... You're a musician yourself. Well, I was, but very poor, though. Uh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I've seen it on TV, like, every single day, and I can't believe I'm going. I'm so excited. I don't know what to do. What, what is it about that attracts you? Just, like, they're dancing, and they all, like, I mean, think about it. Like, 50 people that all put their feet in the same place at the same time for, like, a, like an hour and a half is, you know, it's kind of a thrill. I'm really excited about it. The breakup of Michael Flatley and the producers of Riverdance was one of the most publicized divorces in show business. Was all that settled now? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I want them to come and see the show tonight. I hope they do get a chance. I haven't heard from them since, uh, since uh, we broke up, but uh, I sent them flowers on opening night. I hope I get some. The opening night press critics were fulsome in their praise for the show. The New York Post described flatly as a Chicago leprechaun who had opened up a new world for dance. Another paper described him as a genuine dance star, by one critic said it was hard to dispute that he was indeed Lord of the Dance. Opening Radio City doesn't get any better than this. It's fantastic. A lot of people uh, tried to stop us getting here, as you know yourself, and we made it. And uh, I'm really proud for all the whole cast, all the crew, and I got all the big stars that showed up tonight. We were really lucky. It was a wonderful night. What did you think of the show? Oh, it was tremendous. I would have been standing up applauding the whole night. We were just on a high. It was a constant high for, I think, everyone in the audience. And the talent is unbeatable. Michael and everybody, they were absolutely fantastic. Had you seen it before? I have not. I've seen them on television, but I have not seen them before. And they could not have been better. It was really a tremendous show. Three standing ovations. We're on a world tour. We're sold out all over the United States now. We're going to do Tokyo next, and uh, I'd like to get back to Ireland. So tell them put some Guinness on tap. We're on the way. Okay. <laughs> Lord of the Dance. We won. We won. <laughs>